Using Onshape alongside your existing CAD tools is easy. Most CAD-specific and file-neutral data formats can be read in, individually, in bulk, or added to existing designs. Here we are going to perform a bulk upload of a broad selection of CAD files, including SolidWorks, Inventor, ProEngineer, and Katia, as well as some CAD neutral formats, Parasolid, Step, Asus, and Digis. We can also see some other data formats that, whilst important to an engineering design, typically have had no good way of being associated with a project. With Onshape, any data in any format can be uploaded and version managed by any document. There are some additional options available before we perform the bulk import, and we will come back to look at those in just a moment. Because Onshape is powered by the cloud, the upload and translation process uses none of your local device's resources. You are free to move on and work on any other document with no loss of performance. Here we can see Onshape's progress in the upload panel as we begin working on a new document. Users that commonly work with two monitors often keep the documents page and upload panel open on one monitor while working on another. At any time, you are free to open the newly available documents and start working on them. As you become familiar with the power of Onshape, you will become more and more comfortable working simultaneously on multiple documents. In each case, the external data format has been automatically read in and translated and can now be edited or used in other designs. Those files that were uploaded but not translatable into geometric representations will still be rendered if possible. Here we can see several examples. Images and bitmaps, G-code that we may want stored with a design, and a standard parts catalog stored as a PDF. At any time, any data in any tab may be downloaded with the appropriate permissions. As you're working on a project, you will often need to add standard hardware and other purchased parts. Onshape was built to make these types of activities as easy as possible. Here is a quadcopter design that we are working on, and in this scenario, we want to use a standard battery pack that happens to be in SolidWorks format. Data imported into an existing document is not automatically translated. You may, for instance, have simply wanted to store and revision manage the foreign format. Here, we are now translating the data into the Onshape format for editing and assembly use. Note, SolidWorks considers the positive y-axis to be top, while Onshape uses positive z. This simple checkbox ensures compatibility. Once imported, the newly created Part Studio or Studios can then be used in your design. You don't have to keep the uploaded file, but you can if you want. When importing data, especially assemblies, for instance from a Parasolid file, you can sometimes save yourself some tab management effort by asking whether you want to preserve the assembly structure, meaning multiple assembly tabs, one for each subassembly, or simply collapse that structure into a single part studio. Here is an example. Uploading the same file twice, first preserving the assembly structure, and then a second time flattening it to a single part studio. Comparing the two part studios side by side, we can see that the imported geometry is identical, but that the second document is much simpler. Lastly, any part studio containing any data can be copied and pasted into another document. This makes reusing data within Onshape a breeze. Remember that battery pack? What if we wanted to use it in a new document? Simply right mouse button over the tab and copy it to your clipboard. Next, switch to your target document or create a new one and then simply paste it. In summary then, Onshape provides a comprehensive set of workflows and capabilities to work with imported data including the ability to upload and translate many different CAD data formats, the ability to upload and revision manage any data type, the ability to share data from one design to another, 
And all of this powered by the scalable power of the cloud.